Alright guys, how's it going? Iron Man here. This is going to be my full-on in-depth review for Galcon. This game is about five, six months old, four months, whatever. But I need to go ahead and get this started because this is going to be hardcore, long, in-depth. Um, this is my go-to game. It's currently $4.99 in the App Store, down from originally, which was $10 at starting. Um, this is the full version. They do have a light version where it pretty much gives you everything. But, you do get so much more. Oh my god, like, this game is so awesome. I'm freaking out and I'm so excited to show you this game. Um, this is my number one game. I know I've been saying that for the past few things, but every time I get a better game, it just overtakes everything else. Um, this is short, sweet, to the point. It's not very in-depth. It doesn't take long at all, whether you want a fast-paced game or if you want to take it online and, you know, make it long. It's whatever you want to do. There's so many options to this game. It's insane. This game is sick. All right, um... Your options, you have classic mode, stealth, vacuum, beast, and three-way. So, you have not only the original that you get in the free, but you get four extra ways to play the game, as well as up here, is, which is all the ten different levels of difficulties, which is awesome. Um, not only that, you get an added feature, which is totally insane, which is why you buy this game, which is the net game, when you play online with different people and you move up in ranks. Which is, brings us down to the ranks. You click on the ranks, it will bring you to a browser um, for the internet to their site, and it will show you the top players around the world. As well as, of course, like every game, your help and your settings. Um, your settings, it will tell you to go in your settings for the original in your home screen or wherever you have your settings app to do that. The best thing I like about this game, for those of you who don't know, but most of you do, my subscribers, that I am, in fact, colorblind. So this game um, does, uh, surprisingly enough, have a colorblind feature. Um, colorblind does not mean you see black and white. You just mix your colors, guys. So I don't need those questions anymore. But um, this does uh, distinguish the colors uh, very well when you hit the colorblind mode. So I always have it on there. Um, as well as your help will tell you everything, the introduction, uh, what the planets and fleets, and pretty much everything that I'm going to show you guys in a second. Um, your classic mode is just one-on-one. -on -one. Obviously, three-way would you be playing uh, you against two computers. Um, stealth, Vacuum, and Beast, I'll get into those in a second. Of course, with your difficulty levels, um, I'm going to keep it on the level one, which is Cabin Boy. They all have their own little names. And I'm going to click on Classic. Um, the sound... Um, theme song for this is very unique it's cool um i don't really notice of course all, like all songs they're repetitive but it does have a little beat to it and i like it because it's fast and it's intense and it gets me going with the game um another cool feature about this game is you can turn it and all the numbers and everything will turn with you um it's 360 degrees so wherever you go this game goes with you that's another great feature so wherever you want to do it however you want to play it, is the way that it's going to do it um I keep it landscape, but uh, for the sake of the video, I'm going to show you um, this way. Um, basically, the object of this game is to take over and have control of just um, all the planets. You don't have to take control of every planet, but you have to make sure that your opponent that you're facing has no planets in control whatsoever. Um, you start off with 100 or so planets. The numbers that you will see on the each planet will de um, is an indicator of how many um, ships are um, at, on your planet. So, for instance, 104 on my blue planet, I have 104 ships to send out. He has 54. The numbers on the gray planets, which are actually neutral, so nobody controls these, are how many planets you need. Uh, sh excuse me, ships you need to send to that planet in order to take control of it, and then of course it will turn to your color. Um, up here is your little flag thing that tells you your rank. Um, down here you'll see 50%, and basically what that is is I have 104. Excuse me. So if I click on 50%, which is the default setting, and if I send, if I click on the neutral ship, it'll send 50% of how many ships are on the planet that I have currently. So for example, I have 104 ships. If I click, it'll send, um, you know, 52. And, uh, of course, you can change that as well by clicking on the 50%. You can send 25, 50, 75, and 100%. Of course, uh, by sending 100% of the ships to another planet, you are risking the fact of not having any more there. Of course, um, another uh, thing I want to tell you guys is the ships uh, keep producing and they restock. For example, let's uh, click on Classic and let's start this game. As you can see, um, his ships are moving around. 
uh, the colors are pretty cool. The background is just the galaxy. I thought that was cool. Again, the music is very fast-paced. The sound quality is pretty cool. They have their own little sound effects when each planet hits and uh, planets are ascending. The graphics are kind of generic with the ships and stuff, but that's cool because that's what I like. I like um, simple, played-out games. I don't like drawn-out, hardcore graphics. This is an iPhone again, guys, so this isn't a game device. Um, as you can see from 104, I now have 170, and it's going to keep generating. Um, the big planets generate more, so you always want to get those first. Uh, obviously, the smaller planets generate uh, extra spaceships uh, less. So, for example, he has three planets controlled now. Let's go ahead and send some to him, to his red one. And there it goes. It is now taking control for me. You can send um, spaceships from more than one planet as well. So let's click on both of mine, and they have white circles around. That means I'm in control, and whatever I click on next is going to send those. So there it goes. It's sending to his other planet. This is, again, on easy. It does get extremely intensely hard guys this game is so awesome you can have a fast paced game and this is a fast paced game but I'm not really showing you because I'm trying to show you how to play first um, again you um, no, normally what I do if there's big planets around me I always go obviously you would go with the one with the least amount of numbers in it so you can control it a lot faster and send less ships so let's go ahead and do that let's say um, uh, my blue ship up here needs more ships so basically it can have be guarded so they don't take it away as easy. So you can click on all of my ships and hold on the last ship that you uh, took control of and you can drag it. It will create lines so you can send it to yours as well. But I just click, there we go, yep. So it's sending all those to me. I know this is kind of hard to see but you're going to have to need to watch this definitely in high quality as well. But even then I don't know if you're going to be able to see all this. Um, I'll show you what it looks like when you win. And basically, I'm taking control. This is very fast tapping, and you got to take control of this stuff fast. Um, as you can see, I have all of the planets are no more red, and there are neutral left, so you don't have to take control of everything. Let's go back to the main menu, and that's the classic mode. Uh, vacuum mode is um, basically you're not against anyone, but you do have a timer, which is 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So you start off with two big planets, and you have two minutes and 30 seconds to take control of every every single planet. You have to make sure nothing is gray. So it does give you um, a little bit more planets to start off with, which is really cool. And basically, you take this over without a time limit. But So this just makes it a really fast-paced game, even more intense than to start with. But uh, that's how you play that. Let's go on to three-way. And it's basically like classic mode like I just showed you guys, except there's two computers. So this gets even more intense than the original. And there you go with that. That's how you play that. I'm trying to make this video, you know, short. Uh, stealth mode. Um, you're not going to be able to see your enemy fleets. And what a fleet is, is I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to click on this planet over here, and you will see my ships. Um, you see how my ships are going to this planet? For example, I can't see his ships coming to my planet anymore, so basically this is like sneak attack mode. He can't see my ships either. Of course, it's a computer, so, you know, either way. But, um, like, uh, let's say he's um, building up ships to attack mine, and I don't know that they're coming. I am pretty much useless to defend that planet. That's basically how you play that, and Beast is a more um, intense. Um, it starts the uh, your opponent off with a bunch of planets, so it makes it a little bit more challenging, um, hence the beast mode, you have to be pretty much a pro to do this. Not really, but, you know, in a sense. Um, as well as that, you do have to have a Wi-Fi connection to play the net game. It'll bring you to a uh, about 20 or, 20 or 30 different servers. I haven't actually counted, and you can do local as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on a server. This is actually live, so these people are actually playing with me right now. And you can't see um, anything. This is very fast-paced. The internet uh, function of this game is very... Uh, this game is just awesome. The internet um, extra feature is what makes the game, really. Um, if you asking if me, if 4 dollars was worth it, more than definitely. This is... I have never spent 4 99 better before in my life. This is the game to get. If you have an iPod or iPhone, or iPhone 
uh, iPod Touch, excuse me, then you have to get this game. This is not, without a doubt, any questions whatsoever. You have to get this game um, before the prices go up and he's smart and he'll raise it back to 10 because I'd even pay 10 for this. For me, this is, if I could have it, uh, obviously five stars. Everything is just perfect. You get everything you could ever want in this game. I can't see it having anything more. But this is my Galcon review. Hopefully, I gave you guys what you wanted and expected. If you have any more questions on this application, of course, like always, PM me. Um, I will respond within 24 hours, guaranteed. Um, as well as, you know, going to my site and on Twitter, watching all my stuff, you can answer me, ask me questions on there as well. But the best way to get your questions answered is through PM on YouTube. But, um... That is my in-depth Galcon.